I have made here this little knob uh, for your Arduino project or for your guitar amp or whatever and I would like to deconstruct it so you can see how I made it. Uh, let me see, where are we here? The knob. So the first thing I'm going to delete for you is uh, the pocket, which is the this little hole to connect it to uh, to your potentiometer and I made it with this sketch. I draw a circle and a line and then I trimmed it off to make this pocket. So I think that I have done that in previous tutorials. So let's go on with the other one because we are going to get to the array function. Um, on the top I did the same thing basically to get a little bit the idea of where is uh, it pointing at. It's also a pocket really straightforward, no need for explaining. I have these two objects that I fused together, which is this cut of the array, we're almost there, and this chamfer. And for the chamfer I would like to explain you something, and that is the following. If I would have any cylinder, which is this, just a normal cylinder created from the part, and I would make from the part workbench a chamfer like this one millimeter okay now I cannot change the size of this chamfer anymore if I put it here I cannot change anything anymore whereas if I would make a chamfer from the part design workbench it is here sorry I have to select it first here and I make it one okay then here if I then select chamfer I can still change the size of it so let's make it two enter so like this you are much more flexible so if you make a, uh, a chamfer or a fillet just do it from the part design menu anyhow enough about the fillet chamfer, sorry. Uh, also I made this on a, a cone. I worked a lot from the part design, uh, from the part uh, workbench for a couple of reasons. And we're almost there. So this is the array. Array is quite straightforward function that is um, uh, available in many programs and the array is made from a cone. This cone I made, I put it a little bit outside and then I go to the draft workbench which is a bit strange. Draft has some nice features, I come to that in later tutorials and here is create a polar or rect rectangular array from the selected object. Okay. So now it makes some funny things because now it's making a rectangular array which means, which means that it copies it four times and puts it quite close to each other. But if we have now this array and we ch choose the array type from orth orthogonal ortho, ortho to uh, polar and we say the number is a bit more, let's make it seven and now you see also here what is the center of the array so if I change the center a little bit if I look from it from the top you can see it pretty well you see that the center is moving here so the circle is a bit eccentric from the circle that we have from the original map I found out at uh, minus 0.5 is quite nice because then these are still connecting and the uh, the original one is kind of the the pointer it is here and the rest is basically decoration and then needless to say I pick these two and I go to part and subtract them why I did this with uh, mainly parts, so with primitives and not uh, so much with uh, sketches, 
is that it's not really working if I use uh, sketches then it's uh, difficult no, I will just show you I will just show you so I select this and then I make a sketch over here and then for example I want to include uh, this circle because I want to use it and then I select it enter enter close anyhow you see it uh, kind of offers to do something with it but nothing happens so I don't have any line here that is being included into the sketch that I can use for later use so if this real nice feature of the sketch is not working then there is also no need to fuzzle around with uh, sketches and just use the uh, the the primitives so the the part menu straight away so it's also better for uh, Mac users because um, some some features in the sketch panel have not been included yet in the in the Mac version of FreeCAD. I'm so sorry. It's basically a workaround, and uh, also my navigation menu is not working at the moment. I change it back, and now I can turn again. So, like this, you can do really cool things as you might have also seen that this is a uh, cone as well so I used a lot of cones and like this you can can play with a variety of shapes and I'm sorry for the noise uh, and if uh, you would use a uh, not a, a circular not a polar but a um, the other one array then you see the number is this and this and then the interval which is basically the distance in the y direction if you make that 10 then you see already what happens you can do this in all kinds of directions it's really useful if you make a whole pattern or I don't know anything that uh, repeats you can do uh, smart things with it so of course it should be 20 so they are really out of each other anyhow I think you get the idea and you can play many 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 very smart games with it and I encourage you to do this and um, I hope to see you at the next tutorial goodbye <laughs>